Someone in my comment section inquired, how do you run a filter command to display only specific column from your data set? And keep in mind, his data set is relatively big, starting from column A to ZZ. Well, let me start off with simple data set here. I got a set of data set with only eight columns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For a simple data set, you can simply type filter open parenthesis and select the data set completely, including the header comma and then the second argument is where you specify which column do you want to see open curly braces let's say i want to only display delivery date and delivery number well the if you don't want to see serial number just going to say zero do not show or hide comma you want to show the delivery date one comma you want to hide the fruit zero comma you want to show the delivery number put one here to show comma and then you're going to four zeros like this because you don't want to see any of the remaining column so you're going to say zero comma zero comma zero comma zero and curly braces and hit enter as you can see your delivery date is 44,929 this indicates the number of days since January 1st 1900 now to convert this into a proper date you highlight the delivery date column like this press ctrl 1 which is going to open format cell click on number tab and select date and click on OK and they will convert it into a proper date for you. So one drawback about this simple filter is as you can see easily I've got eight columns you have to specify every one of them. For some reason if I accidentally not specify one like this I got one two three four five six seven while I have eight columns here and you only specify seven if you hit enter you'll get this value error here. So Every column has to be accounted for if you use this technique. You can readily begin to infer the drawbacks of employing this technique. Especially let's say for example if you have a data set ranging from here all the way down to AA which is about a couple of hundred then this becomes a bit impractical to use. So if you have a really large data set this is what you're going to have to use. You're going to still be using a filter function and the first argument is going to be the same as the first one assuming this is a very large uh, data set comma. The second argument, I'm going to open parentheses here and type column, open parentheses again for the column and I'm going to say A colon A and this is the extent of my whole data set. If your data set column runs from A to AAA, this is going to, you're going to have to change this to AA like that. Okay, so for mine goes from A to H, I'm going to say A colon H and then close parentheses for the column function, I'm going to say equal and I'm going to do column again one more time and this time around I'm going to show column B which is my delivery date so I'm going to say B everything on B like this close parenthesis and close parenthesis and you can see that uh, this this is uh, sort of uh, encapsulating that let's only show uh, delivery date I'm going to do one more parenthesis for the filter and if you hit enter you can see that column only column B is being displayed now if I go and edit and let's say if you want to add more column because I need a DO, all you have to do is you're going to have to copy this up to here. Right click, copy in a clipboard and the operator to concatenate them together is plus and I'm going to control V or just paste it here, control V to paste it. And again, we're going to keep this as A to H because that's the extent of my data set table here. And to add my DO is column D and you have guessed it. It's going to be column D and D like this and if you hit enter you can see that it does the same thing as this function here. And likewise here you can convert into a proper date format by pressing control 1 and then it's done. And then if you want additional column again you go here and you copy this again if you haven't copied on your clipboard like this. Control C to copy. Go to the end between the last parenthesis here plus again and then paste it and let's say this time around I want to get my column G so basically I'm gonna say G G here right here I'm gonna just change so now this will give me three columns delivery date DO and total because I asked for column B D sorry column B here column D and column G 